song Corista Oh, 
Happy Sabbath with good news.
I'm good to try. Hey. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now it's time that Harriet will come and How many will come? Hello, what is that? Amen. Harriet. The Lord is good. Happy Sabbath. Happy day. Happy day. Happy Sabbath. Let's start, shall we start with the word of prayer? Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you for giving us this day. Help me so that I may tell our children the right things in my pray. Amen. Today's topic is how we can submit ourselves to God and where our book of James 4 7. My version says, so then submit to God, resist, run away from him. Verse 8 says, come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners. Purify your height, purify your heart, you hypocrites. This verse is telling us that we should all learn how to submit ourselves to God and to the Bible of Judah whose, whose name was Manasseh. He did what was unjust to the Lord and did the wrong things. But it, he later made mistakes and went to God and the Lord forgave him. What am I trying to say? That the Lord will always be with us when we are with Him. Let's open the book of Second Chronicles 33 verse 10. And my version says, Although the Lord wanted and His people, they refuse to listen. And verse 17 says, Although the people continue to offer sacrifices at other places of worship, they offer them only to God. Verse 10 is saying that at first place, Manasseh was warned by the Lord. And that the Lord was now angry with him. Teach him a lesson. Right now, the whole world and the country suffering from what from a disease called coronavirus, and people from other places still don't want. To. Some of them are saying that. That when the first patient was healed, they were saying that they were saying that God was not going to come back at that time. But what we are being told is that we should always listen to God and give our lives to Him. Many people don't know why things happen in this life. And saying us is saying to us that helps to God and resist the devil. The devil is to hurt us each and every time. Everywhere we go we are not safe, but the Lord has protected us till this Sabbath. Many of us are so discreet for the Lord and they still don't want to listen to him. We have had people worshipping God. We have had people telling rumors of Jesus he has been bad to other people. But that's not the truth. We should learn to submit to God and resist the devil and come to God. And even as we read from the Bible, the Lord gave us the Ten Commandments so that we should learn how to live a godly life. This life that we have 
was gave to us for a purpose. No one should do anything wrong to the Lord. The Lord gave us instructions, instructions that are not hard to follow. But yet, to my mind, it is so difficult. Every time when we have problems, to God. But when we are now at a good point, God is not there to truly are doing the wrong things just because their friends are doing that. And yet, they are saying that God's life is hard. We go out there to preach the news. But those are rumors, they might even beat you up. But you are despised. Remember that God was also despised. And if I open the book of Proverbs 18.24, Proverbs 18.24. One who has unreliable friends soon comes to win, but there's a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Man? The Bible is telling us that These friends lure them into trouble and then they leave. But there is one loyal friend to us, even though we are going to suffer, he is always there for us and he has never left us. Some people say God has left them. Yes, they are the ones who have left the presence of the Lord. When sin came into this world, him and from all the gave us. Yet he brought to us the Bible. We have it and we want to read it. All is that people when they come to church they behave as if that God is everything they have. When or when but when they are in trouble God is always there. When they are happy nothing is going wrong, God is not there. But yet we are being told that we should stick to the Lord, whether good times, bad times, or any times. That he has never left us. And when Adam and Eve decided to sin, they fallen short, they had fallen short of the glory of God. And God, but He still loves them and forgave them. Yet, the sin that they committed made everyone in the world to suffer. He chose to live, no one will be suffering. But since God, and He gave us His only Son so that He for us, so that we might be saved. And one day, we will go to heaven and rejoice there. Just as in the lesson, we are being told that there are some, there are of people, those who will go to heaven, will remain, and those who will be shining like stars. Jesus is saying that, even though so many challenges and troubles, he will not leave. But we always believe God, even for the slightest thing. How I learn in everything that we do, or in everything that might happen to us, God has to submit ourselves to God, and we should pray hard so that we might, we might resist the devil. In this world, there are so many things which many people are dying, many people are doing things which are not just right. But we should submit and submit ourselves to God, resist the devil, and the Lord will come near to us. For all that
that he has done for us. Amen. Not been able to see this day. Some of us have been saying that the Lord has not been good. But those are not the truth. The Lord has shown us his love and mercy. We too, it's now it's now our time to do our part. We should always come to God and live our sinful lives. We should always remember how we should always remember to pray every day. And because of just a short prayer, God can listen to us. Those people who like praying sometimes they end up saying things which just because they want to show people that they are submitting themselves to God. To always pray and submit ourselves to God. This world has so many things happening. To be someone has lost a relative, she has everything he needs. Tomorrow, nothing is there. Everything in life has a cause, whether good or bad. Times are going to be hard, but we should rely on God. He's the one who knows why everything happens. Not the way we always expect, but God's way is the right one. God, God's way knows. God's way is the real way. Some people try to contradict with the Bible just because they want to be seen. But the Lord says that you are in good or bad times and you are always faithful to me, I will never leave you. And Saul was a king of Israel. He did he was just right, but there was evil which he did, which made him give the glory of God. The Lord left him, but yet he, he still didn't want to show that he was not right in the eyes of the Lord. We should always accept that we have gone wrong, whether we are being told or not. We should tell God that we are to help a right life, a life which is good and a life which will not contradict with him. God's way is the right way and we should learn always to serve the Lord always. Let's open our Bible from the book ten verse eight. The Bible says, Whoever digs a pit may fall, whoever breaks through a wall may be beaten by a snake. Yes. The Bible, in whatever things that we try to plan for other people, ourselves inside it. Like the, the do and whatever you want to be done for your neighbor is the same that will be done to you. And if you dig a pit for your neighbor, you will fall in it. And if you break through a wall, a snake will bite you. What does this say? The Bible is also trying to tell us that human nature always does mistakes. We, all, we are, always do mistakes in everything that we do, in some things that we do. And we always fall in pits. But the Lord will be able to lift us up from that pit if we only believe in him and trust be able we will be able to see the glory of God. Amen. 
But not every not everything that happens in life is good. Times will be hard. People might even despise you just because of doing but you should learn not to fear anyone. For the Lord always protect us in everything that we do, in everything that we say. We should always be careful so that we may fall short of God. And I would like to say that are we should not say we should not try to fit in worldly people because try to support themselves with Ecclesiastes twelve and there is a verse says that you youths enjoy your youths enjoy your youthful life. So they will try to support themselves with that just because that it's in the Bible. But let us not fall into that because we remember that the Lord who is with us always sees everything, whether you do it in secret or in public. The Lord always sees everything that we do. Even if you try to hide them, a human being cannot see. Sees everything that is happening in this world. And there are some people who are now falling short of the glory of God. And right now, most of the people are being so bad. But we should pray to God so that he might help us in everything that we do. And tell God to help us in what we are doing. Some people just uh -huh. come to church, they don't know what they're doing. They worship God, they don't know even the cause of their life, why they came to this earth. We should pray to God so that he might help us in which every and ever that we do, so that we might not be short in the glory of God. And our last verse will Proverbs chapter 16 verse 31 and my version says long life is the reward of rush of the rushes gray hair is a if you want to live we should do what the Lord tells us to do we should abide with his or we should abide with each other we should abide with his commandments every day eyes of the Lord every day of our life. Amen. Amen. For Ariet, Ariet, uh, uh, give us the mm -hmm. final prayer. We will have to Calvary uh, members and those that are willing, I know others they have prayed away. We can and will pray. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they have a song. I present then you. Okay, the, once you are done, then hope of Najita Hope. Angel of hope. Masimam. Sa, sangat. We to trust in Jesus and to take him at his word. Just to rest upon his promise, to know the save the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust thee, how I truly mourn. 
Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, offer me to serve me. Amen. Ah, 
Amen. Thank you. 